Hello everyone, hope you're well. Welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is your daily read and it is for Tuesday the 5th of May 2020 for all signs as usual. So it may or may not resonate with you, you decide what resonates. Okay, so I'm going to kind of look at the energy and also see what message we get. What is the message please? The energy, Tuesday the 5th of May 2020. And remember, the, the readings do resonate. Generally, a few days either side of the reading can be longer. Divine timing and all that. So let's see what we get. What is the message, please, that people need to hear? Thank you. We have coherence. Number 13. The frequency of coherence supports our ability to harmonize the frequency of the heart with the frequency of the mind for an optimal ability to create the reality that we desire. You know, a lack of coherence is when we feel imbalanced, unstable, it's in our inner energy. There's a fragmented feeling. So for some of you, I feel you are moving towards maybe getting greater balance in your life. What do we have, Angel Spirits Guides? What is the message people need to hear? Thank you. Ground yourself, yeah. There is a need to ground yourself in order to, to achieve coherence. Hmm. We have sensitive emotions. Again, this is internal energy. Larimar is the gem. This is the angel gem deck. Um, times of heightened emotions and sensitivity call for extra self-care and gentleness. Okay, well, let's pull some cards and see what this is about. Okay, what do we have, please, Angel Spirits Guides? Tuesday, 5th of May, 2020. What is the message people need to hear, please? Tuesday, the 5th of May, 2020, please. What do people need to hear? Thank you. Oh. Okay, another card seemed to slide off there as well, so we'll take that too. We have the Knight of Pentacles coming out a lot at the moment. The High Priestess, the Five of Wands. Let's see what else we get. The Eight of Wands. King of Wands. We have two fives here, the five of cups. What is that? Can you just get one more clarify? Okay, lovers. Okay, bottom of the deck, we have the devil. You know, we have the lovers and the devil here. So that can mean a number of meanings. You know, you see in the picture of the devil, I don't know if you can see that. But that is the lovers. Those two people are the lovers. But it's when um, passions, addictions, codependency, codependency goes to the extreme, where it's not a balanced relationship anymore. It becomes um, very much belonging to the ego, uh, you know, which throws our life out of balance in whichever way, shape or form. The devil can be, it's a card of Capricorn, and it's a card of imbalance, instability. When the devil appears, there is a big instability in your life. Now, it might well be, for some of you, you are struggling with relationships, and I'm feeling that in particular, um, because of this uh, self-isolation that we've all had to do. And it might well be for some of you, a relationship that may have been a struggle anyway, is becoming 
I'm feeling quite strong, you know, it's becoming unlivable. The devil is an illusion. It can talk about unhealthy relationships, uh, power struggles in a relationship. Now, this can be in terms of love. This can be in terms of, you know, business, career, friendships. It is a general reading. But because the lovers have come out as well, I feel for some of you that there could have been some deterioration in a relationship. And it might well be on an individual level, it might well be because of the collective energy, we're all having to self-isolate and what might have been an issue anyway for you has just been magnified more during this period. You may have felt very fragmented, um, certainly with that coherence being here, this is almost like a, a relationship disintegrating and I'm feeling quite strongly for some of you. Yeah. And I, and I am feeling that, you see. I just feel, I mean, the, the Five of Cups can be about loss. It can be about regret. It can be about mourning what's gone. You know, the loss of or the disintegration of what was a healthy relationship originally. I'm feeling that quite strongly. This can be struggle. This can also be bickering. This can be the Fives, again, very much like the Devil energy, a really disruptive, instable energy. So it's very consuming to get out, of, it's very difficult to get out of this energy and see beyond the fives in tarot because something has been disrupted but I'm feeling something's disintegrated. You know, there's an inner knowing here when the, when the High Priestess appears and it's to take the lead in your life. This is about claiming your power. If you feel powerless in a situation, if you feel that you things are beyond your control or spiraling, spiraling out of control in whatever way this the king of wands male female energy is somebody who will take the lead in their life now you might have taken the lead to maybe take your power back and make decisions choices take action do something about the situation in order to overcome this instability because I do see change in the cards. But, and, and, and the action is being guided by your inner knowing, your inner instincts, what you really know to be true from within. Um, the High Priestess is very much our inner knowing. Now it might well be there's an opportunity to go for something. Now I will say, it's not, you could be choosing between two people too, in love. So that is the other option. And this is very much about taking action, going for what you want, if that is the case. But if a relationship is, is disintegrated further than what it had done, and I feel for some of you, it was already a challenging relationship anyway, but I do feel maybe some of you have suffered from this self-isolation. Um, you know, it magnifies things as well. You know, when you can't break free of each other or you don't have space and time, that's the test of a true relationship, isn't it? And it either grows from strength to strength or it disintegrates. And for some of you, I do feel it might well have disintegrated. If this has been in the the past that you've been this is a really nice card of you will get back on track this is this is a great card of grounding yourself and how do we ground ourselves we do the practical things we think we focus on the facts of the situation we trust our instincts what our inner guidance is telling us to do this can be about finding the answers from within it's a card of virgo in order to really take action practically in our external environment the knight of pentacles can be about understanding how to do the practical things in order to get back on track. Can represent opportunity, can represent the beginnings of, uh, or the early stages from the steps, steps that you've been taking. Maybe when you've taken action towards something, taking back control, taking back your power, you understand how to move towards and, and build something far more solid and stable 
could be focusing on your money and career, can be just in terms of health, recovering, focusing on the practical things that you need to do to get back on track. But it is, you are going in the right direction. This is a lovely card, the Eight of Wands. <clears throat> What you've been working towards is bringing positive change. This is a big positive shift by the actions that you take. Sometimes this can be about new opportunity, conversations leading to new opportunity, whatever you, you might be working towards here. It might well be opening up new avenues for you. But nevertheless, this is an absolutely positively big shift. The eights in tarot are mastery and change. So this is you overcoming a difficult situation by mastering it, by being in your power and taking action to bring positive change and growth in your life. It's a really nice energy, but I do, as I said, at the beginning of the reading, I felt very heavy energy. And whatever this was, whether, you're, whether there was a choice between two people, it might have been you and somebody else with, you know, you were the half. Uh, it could be you choosing between two people. Um, but I kind of also feel that this was a relationship that has slowly but surely disintegrated. Could be because of the isolation, could be your own individual experience. But nevertheless, I do feel that when you take action and reclaim your power, by really realigning to your inner knowing, you will find the answers to practically move forward and build something far more solid of value, stable in your life. And there is a positive shift here when you do, but you have to take action. I feel you will find the right direction for you. You know, this is somebody bringing greater value into their life and it's in their physical reality. The pentacles is the, our homes, our property, our money, our career, our foundational relationships, people we build our lives around, um, can also be to do with our health. So slowly but surely you are absolutely getting back on track in those areas by the efforts that you you're putting in or certainly that the cards are saying that you will do and there is a deep inner guidance when the high priestess turns up so really trust your inner knowing your instincts what you truly feel from within is right for you to take action on it is to act on what you feel what in, your instincts are telling you Some of you could have been betrayed by, um, like I said, I was seeing, it was a possibility of seeing two relationships. You could have been betrayed by someone having uh, an, an affair as well. What do we have? Please, Angel Spirits Guides. It's not the easiest reading, but you know, the cards say what they want to say, and so do Angel Spirits Guides. So, um, yeah. But I, I like the way that slowly but surely I'm feeling a really positive energy towards the end. What do we have, please? And the Eight of Wands can sometimes talk about travel. Um, I know it's pretty difficult in this current environment, but it might well be... By the actions that you're taking, there is a positive shift in your circumstances. Sometimes can mean maybe relocation or moving towards other opportunities, moving for a job, uh, a new home. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> what did I say? We have wise woman here, the raven. A change is coming. And I feel it's by your actions. I do feel this is a change that you are, you're taking your power back. And from that, everything changes in a positive way. Yeah. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful day for you. Um, take care and I will see you next time. Thank you.